Hi everyone, I welcome you all to the ITI World Symposium 2021. The best part about this symposium is that it's not restricted to any part of the world, but is taking across the globe. And I, Dr. Tabriz Lakha, present you my lecture from India. So the lecture is titled as Can CBCT be used to predict the risk of life threatening hemorrhage in the anterior mandible? So before I go into the topic, I would like to introduce myself briefly. I was fortunate enough to be awarded the ITI scholarship in 2018 and had spent one year under the leadership of stalwarts and implanted dentistry like Professor Christoph Hamerle and his team at the University of Zurich. And here I am presenting you my lecture for the symposium. What are we going to learn today? We are going to understand the common clinical scenarios of implant placement in the anterior mandible. We will understand the anatomy and the vasculature in this zone. Important landmarks which we need to observe on CBCT. A clinical study published by my own research group which correlates the diameter of the lingual foramen on CBCT to the vasculature in the anterior mandible. What can we do to prevent or to deal with surgical complications when there is profuse bleeding and hemorrhage and clinical recommendations that one should follow in his day to day clinical practice. So it's a Monday morning and you encounter a patient who is seeking implants in the anterior mandible. And when you classify this according to the SSC classification given by the ITI, it's a pretty straightforward case. Do we need to take additional precaution in such cases? What are the treatment options do we have to treat edentulous mandible? There are different treatment options that have been proven successful over time in the literature where implant supported over denture could be given on four implants, three implants or conventionally by two implants. There is an upcoming literature that has proven that in atrophic mandible, you could even gain high success rates 